So hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Uh, in this video, we'll be discussing uh, push down automaton, that is the PDA. So, if we go back to our previous lectures uh, where we have studied about the finite automata, then uh, we see that in finite automata there is a very serious limitation that was it was not able to remember things, it was not able to accept a language in which there is some comparison needs to be done in which, in which we have to remember something. So, suppose I ask you to make a NFA or a DFA for a language A to the power N, B to the power N. So, probably you won't be able to to make a NFA or a DFA for this particular language a to the power n b to the power n y because in this one some uh, remembering has to be done that is uh, we have to make sure that the number of b's should be equal to the number of a's now to make sure that this b should be equal to a we first have to make sure we first have to remember the number of a's so if only we remember the number of a's then only we can uh, make sure that b is equal to the number of a's Fine. Now, how do we do this? Uh, the finite automata was not able to do this because it was not having any kind of memory into it. Into it. Okay, so that was a very serious limitation of that one. Uh, so, uh, what we do, if we add some memory to finite automata, then we can come up with a new idea that is called as a push down automata or a PDA. Fine. So, if we add some memory to the finite automata, we'll get a PDA. So, this is the PDA is a combination of finite automata plus some memory. Now, which kind of memory we will discuss this later on. Uh, so, we have a stack here. Okay. Fine. So, if we add a stack to the finite automata, then we will come up with a new idea called as a push down automata or a PDA. So, this PDA will be able to accept a language that is a to the power n, b to the power n plus it can accept all the languages that can be accepted by the finite automata plus it can accept any uh, some more languages that was uh, that finite automata was not able to accept okay so now uh, what is pda so uh, in automata whatever machines we study we study in the form of we, we represent it in the form of some tuples okay like uh, in finite automata there were five tuples it was uh, q sigma delta q naught and f so similarly in this one also we have seven tuples fine so this is m m is uh, here we have a machine that is push down automata so this is q sigma tau delta q naught z naught and f now since we are saying that a pda is a combination of finite automata plus memory so we'll be having some same tuples that were there in the finite automata plus we'll be having some new tuples here that is for this memory here fine so we'll be having five tuples that were there already in finite automata plus we have two tuples that is related to the stack fine so uh, this q sigma delta q naught and f these are the five tuples that were already there in finite automata new tuples are this tau and this z naught okay so uh, i'll tell you uh, all these tuples one by one so what is q q is a finite non-empty set of states that is while accepting any kind of string any kind of language we are transiting from one state to another so that is q naught q1 q2 q3 whatever it is so that will be termed as a finite non-empty set of state that will be included in capital q fine then there is sigma sigma is a finite non-empty set of symbols now what is this uh, suppose we are reading this uh, input string this is an input tape and then in this one the string to read is a a b b fine and after this b there is epsilon what is epsilon epsilon sh says uh, tells us that a string has now been ended that this is the final b and after this there is nothing in the string so epsilon is a termination of a string in this uh, input tray into in input tape we can say fine so whatever string we are reading is actually a sigma so this a and b will be the sigma here fine then uh, i'll discuss this later on what is q naught q naught is the initial state that is already there in finite automata that is the initial state where, where we actually start our journey from then we have f f is the final state where we are actually terminating the string fine now what is tau tau uh, now whenever we are reading this uh, input string in an input tape this is a finite control unit it is uh, actually reading the input string one by one it will read a and then it will move forward read a then again it will read b again it will read b and so on so uh, 
sometimes there is a need to push some elements into the stack so what we do we simply push some elements into the stack okay now it is not necessary to push only the element what we are reading fine so if we are reading a we can push a into it plus we can push some other element into it suppose we say x so we can push x into it so any element that can be that is getting pushed into the stack will be called as a finite non empty set of push down alphabets okay that is a tau so tau is any alphabet that is getting pushed into the stack will be a tau fine then there is z naught z naught is the initial symbol on the pda now what does that mean uh, now this stack is actually empty but uh, uh, suppose whenever we are uh, inputting any string or reading any string so this uh, z dot tells us that the stack is now actually empty fine so as soon as we reach this z dot we are sure the stack has been empty and the whole of the string has been read so uh, i'll tell you what are the operation that can be performed on uh, this one in the next few minutes on this stack uh, some operations are there like push and pop and bypass so i'll be discussing all those operations here one by one uh, so uh, this is the uh, z dot so always we have a z dot in this one and as soon as we reach the z dot uh, we are sure that the string that the, we are reading is actually complete and the stack is absolutely empty so this z not only tells us that the stack is completely empty now fine now the last one is a delta this delta is a transition function that is uh, it tells you how to transit from one state to another okay so it is a transition function that is q this q is a present state suppose i am at some state at some present state and this uh, present state we are applying some input now what kind of input input is sigma union epsilon now what is sigma union epsilon now sigma is uh, this a and b fine so i am suppose at state q naught fine at state q naught i am reading this so i am reading suppose a fine so some uh, first of all my control unit will read a and then it will read on this a then it will read b then it will read b and finally it will read epsilon epsilon tells us that the string has now been complete so when it is reading epsilon then we are sure that the string has been completed so sometimes we read a or b and sometimes we read epsilon so that is why we have written this epsilon here so uh, on q either a is applied or b is applied from this one or epsilon is applied on this one plus cross we have a tau now what is tau so present state input string applied any any symbol from the input string applied with a push down alphabet fine so we have some push down alphabet and then what we'll get from this one so this is actually the input this is actually the output okay so what we are getting in the output so in the output we are getting some state and with some operation onto the stack that is a tau star fine so what we are doing in this one we are at one state at this state we are applying some input alphabet including epsilon or null and in combination we are also applying a push down alphabet fine now what we are getting we are getting some state and then some operation that is done onto the stack that is a push operation or a pop operation or a bypass operation now uh, i'll tell you what is a push operation what is the bypass and what is a pop operation in this one now what is the push operation so i'll tell you the the syntax of the push push operation plus uh, uh, what happens to the stack when we are pushing something into the stack okay so uh, suppose we have this uh, state I am at state Q0 and I have to go at Q1, okay, and a push operation has been performed, okay. So I will I'll show you the position of the stack also and how does it happens, okay. So uh, initially we assume that in the stack we have a Z0, what, what, what Z0 means? Z0 means that the stack is empty, fine. So suppose the element that we have to push is A, fine. So what do we do? Uh, the element to read, first of all, we'll write element to read. So element to read is A. So the input string contains A and we have to read that A. So the element to read is A. Then the top stack element, that is Z0 here, fine. So A, element to read is A. The top stack element is Z0. Now, when we do the push operation, we'll put a slash like this and then we'll write the 
uh, output into the stack so we are pushing a into the stack so what are we getting so we have this a so we'll write a here so what i'll get i'll get a z not here fine so the element that we are reading is a and the top stack element is z not and after the push operation is performed this is the position of the stack that is a z not fine so what is this it is delta q not comma that is i'm at state q not then the element to read is a the top stack element is z not now what do we get we reach onto the state that is q1 and what is the position of the stack that is it is a z not this means that a push operation has been performed here so we are at state q not element to read is a the top stack element is z not what are where are we going that is we are we are reaching on to the state q1 and this is what happened to the stack so we have a uh, a z not into the stack so this uh, usually we show the top two elements of the stack okay so this is a push operation now what is the pop operation again i'll tell you what is the pop operation so suppose we have this q not we have this q1 and how do we do this fine and i'll also tell you the position of the stack that we have here okay so suppose the element to read is a fine so element read is a and suppose we have a top stack element as c fine and we have to pop um, uh, we always pop the topmost element so the element to read is a and the top stack element is c now after we do the pop operation we write epsilon here this epsilon shows that a pop operation has been performed here so how do we do this suppose we have z not here we have a here we have c here so the element where that we are reading is a suppose we are reading this element a and then the top stack element is c we have to perform the pop operation so what we, what are we doing it we are showing it in the form of epsilon so this means that a pop operation has been performed so what do we get in the pda we get z naught and we got a so this shows the pop operation so if we show the delta here so delta will be q naught comma the element to read is a then the top stack element is c then where we reached we reached on q1 and what is the position of the stack it is the epsilon that is a pop operation has been performed so this shows the push operation and this shows the pop operation okay now the next one is the bypass operation now what is bypass i'll tell you what is bypass now <coughs> again we have q0 we have q1 and we have to go from here to here fine again i'll show you the stack state of the stack fine so suppose we have z not here and onto the stack we have a here fine so the element to read is again suppose we are reading this a only so we are reading this a only and after this a the top stack element is a here and after the skip operation that is we haven't done anything we have just skipped this operation so what have we got we have got a only so what is the state of the stack we have z not we have a so that is the same as was as it was before now what is the delta in this one delta is q not comma the element to read is a the top stack element is a and we have reached on q1 and the state of the stack is a fine so if we if we analyze this we can see in this one that in a push operation at this point we have two elements fine so this shows the push operation in a pop operation if we see here uh, epsilon epsilon means that a pop operation has been performed and the topmost element has been popped out and in this one the third one that is the bypass bypass or we say sometimes as skip operation okay so if we see only a single element here that means a bypass operation has been performed now i'll tell you with the help of an example uh, what this push pop and bypass means actually so we'll discuss is uh, this with the help of some examples in the next videos thank you